Hey, I'm Timothy, and these are going to be our June staff picks from me, Alec, and Ian. Got not a lot of new stuff in right now, but we are going to kind of look through some of like core products and things we love and things we're doing in kind of that transition into summer. So here we go, June staff picks. All right, so for my June staff picks, I went with a cooler color palette. Um, trying to do kind of like a same color sort of uniform thing without having it be the exact same. Um, so I went with a kind of this like light blue, Carolina blue kind of uh, cardigan with this like light gray jean. Kind of mixes up from normal blue denim, doesn't go blue on blue but still kind of stays in the same color palette. I like that a lot. Um, I went with a Yashiki cardigan. I really like this piece because I really love cotton cardigans in the summer. It's an easy thing to throw on and you know get a little bit of warmth, but really just giving layer and texture to what you're wearing. This isn't really warm at all. So I think people get weird about sweaters in the summer, but this is no different than any cotton jacket or like cotton shirt you'd throw over the top. So I really like that. Also adds a ton of texture with this really interesting weave and knit that's happening over here, especially with the depth of color being a little lighter, a little darker here. So I really like that it's adding a lot of texture, even though you're kind of, like I said, kind of doing this uniform kind of top and bottom with a very similar color. The next thing is gonna be the Orsola 107 jean in the, I forget which one this is, the two-year wash gray, three-year wash gray? It's the most washes we have. It's the lightest wash version. So I like this because it still looks like those vintage black jeans you'll find at like vintage stores and all that. Um, looks really natural, but it'll still continue to age as you wear it. This is a nice jean in that you get a lot of rise with a little bit of taper through the leg. It's called slim fit. I think that scares some people away. It shouldn't, just a little bit of taper. Kind of fits like a vintage 505. So that's one of my favorite fits, especially for the summer, especially when you're wearing like tennis shoes and not boots and everything. It's nice to have a little bit of that taper below. And then I'm gonna put that with these Vism Corda folks, we really like these at the shop. They're like kind of like a Stan Smith, and then but they're with the deer skin, so the leather is super nice, super easy to break in. It's almost like a painted leather too. So you can, if you can see it up close, I don't think they can do that, but if you can see it up close, it's actually got, it's already kind of started here, but it'll start to age really fast and kind of crack and break and look really like broken in, but like, in a, in a good way, like like nice leather does. So it's really gonna give, it's gonna take away from that too sporty look and give you more of that like everyday look, which I think is really cool. And then, I don't have it here, but I'm gonna wear a lady white t-shirt. I would normally pick an XL because I want it to be a little bit boxy and roomy and I'm gonna wash it right away. So I'm just gonna wash and dry it right away because I want it to still have a lot of room but just take a little bit of the room away because I'm more of a large. But in the summer, I like things to be a little bit more flowy, especially with, you know, kind of drapey cardigan like this. Um, and then I'm gonna do, the reason I didn't show it is because I'm gonna wear my own today because I actually cut the bottoms of mine before I wash them too. So I can get sort of this like, I don't need the length because I have sort of, I have a long torso and then short legs. So I like to like kind of play with that proportion a little bit to kind of even things out for myself. So I'll cut it here, rolls up to almost my belt line. Is an old thing that we used to do um, in hardcore bands and stuff that we'd buy bigger tees but they were too long for us so we'd chop them. Kind of gives you, shows off your belt and everything back when we were wearing stud studded belts and all that. So I'm gonna do that here because I like that it's gonna have with the high rise jean, it's gonna show off a little bit more jean. It's gonna allow this to be a little bit longer and kind of play with that proportion, which suits me a little bit better. Plus I think it gives it kind of like a clean but grungy look at the same time. So uh, yeah, let's see how this uh, looks once it's on. Hey everybody, my name is Ian and welcome back to another Canoe Club Staff Picks. Here are a couple of my favorite pieces in the shop to make a good little outfit. Let's just hop right into it. Up top, I've got this nice bucket hat from Anonymousism. You may be familiar with them from all the socks on our website. Um, they also do nice dyed hats. This is great lightweight ripstop. Super colorful for the summer and spring. And I know there's a couple different colors, but we went with this one for the uh, color scheme of the outfit. All right, and I guess I'm gonna stick with the anonymousism. I mentioned the socks. I will be wearing tie-dye socks as well. Blues in there, but it is different, but it'll all work out, I promise. Um, for everybody that's thinking I'm clashing here, there's, it, it, it'll work. <laughs> um, okay, and then the sweatshirt. 
We just got these in from Satisfied Running. It says running cult member. Um, I do have to admit before I put this on, I do not run. I didn't even make my high school track team when my sister was the captain, so <laughs> that's how bad I am at running. But they make a damn good sweatshirt. I love this faded blue. Um, the like kind of like thick tassels here as well makes it awesome. And I really just like how it cinches at the bottom here. Same as the sleeves. It just creates a nice kind of like bubbly fit, if that makes any sense. And um, it does have an oversized fit to begin with. It just looks really cool and it's extremely comfortable when you put it on. Um, so anybody that does run, maybe this is your go-to um, on a cold day or you know when you're finished running, you wanna get cozy and still rep your running cult member style. Um, <laughs> And for my pants, sticking with this athletic theme, I went with the Ann Wander, um, just trek shorts. These are just simple hiking shorts. I love the khaki on them. The material is nice and, you know, kind of And <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, and then I own some Ann Wander pants. They have like a plastic buckle. These ones we have in the store right now have this metal buckle. I know that's a very minute detail, um, but that does make a difference for me. I think it just adds a level of, um, quality to the product. And I just love the material on these, you know, great lightweight for the spring and summer. Little Ann Wander Hit logo on the back. Um, and yeah, just khaki, keeping it simple. Khaki I like to go with like blues and I think it'll work really well with the rest of the outfit. Uh, so yeah, that leaves us with the shoes because I already showed you the socks. Um, this is the last pair in the store. Solomon XT6, this apricot color. Um, I chose this just to give the outfit a little bit of color. It does have some kind of like graphites and like really kind of like faded navies in there. Um, so it does kind of work with like the blues. It goes really well with the hat here and the orange. Um, and yeah, and just, you know, sticking with the athletic, you know, hiking gear theme, you know, you could totally hike in these. Great comfortable shoe. Uh, and I love the lace lock on it. You don't have to deal with tying your laces. Super cool shoe, um, but these don't last long. I'm surprised I even got to choose these for my video. So I'm lucky. Um, but yeah, so that's everything. Lots of blues, you can see the oranges, and then just the tie-dye thrown in there for fun. Um, and let's just put it all together and see what it looks like. Okay guys, uh, for this month I, I went with the Lady White Grindle. Um, these are some of my favorite tees I've ever worn. It's uh, good for outdoors or when I'm trying to sleep. Um, the Needles Seven Cuts Flannel. Um, I'm probably gonna style this open and you know see how it goes. Um, and I also went with the 107 White Orslos. I don't own any white pants, so I wanna try them out today. And then I also chose the Visvum Logan Ducks. Um, and I really like the size of the sole here. I've never seen a pair of shoes like this, so I wanna check them out. Those were our June staff picks for 2022. Uh, yeah, let us know which one you liked the best. You can drop that below. You can like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.